Hello, my beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign friends. I'm Lechon Devi with Power Life Hypnosis. And this is your mid-May 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share. And thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. To book a private reading with me, go ahead and check on my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. You can also book a private reading with me directly through the description box below. If you're single, you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, when, where you meet your partner, how you meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, additional details, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with with your future partner and your ideal relationship. Go ahead and book a future partner reading with me today directly through the description box below or again at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, I am running a special this month for the month of May through Instant Go. So go ahead and contact me, instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. That link is also in the description box. All questions during the month of May are 1111. Also, I do respond to all messages within 24 hours. So go ahead and check that out and contact me if you would like a reading through Instant Go. This is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do not, check your Moon and Rising Sign videos as those messages may. Or you can check your Sun, Moon and Rising Sign videos for a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the ending portion of May 2019. Alrighty, so also I have a new Instagram. So go ahead and follow me, Power Life Hypnosis. You can follow me on Facebook as well. On my Instagram, I am posting weekly and weekend fortunes for love and life, as well as guidance and additional messages. So go ahead and follow me again on Instagram at Power Life Hypnosis. So let's get into our reading here. I hope that you all are doing well. So I have here our theme, our two predictions. I have here some additional cards. I have here our guidance and the guidance is a little extended because I did get a new deck recently. So I am using this new deck in addition to the other cards that I've pulled. I have here our postcard from spirit. And at the very end, I'm going to pull a divine message for you all from my book of divine messages. I apologize for getting these readings out a little late uh, to you guys. Of course, all messages do come out in divine timing. Um, please forgive me. Let's go ahead and get started here. All right. So cappies. So regarding the energy here of your love life during the ending portion of May. Okay. First off, I have here the card of engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now, how can you manifest this how can you bring this about by letting go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally okay also if you have not seen the monthly reading for may go ahead and check that reading out after this one because it will definitely provide you with some additional messages so i'm seeing here that this reading is piggybacking off of that initial reading so again your love life at this time during the month of may is ascending to a higher level of commitment now one thing that you can do to help this to bring this about okay to use your free will to bring about the best outcome is to let go of the need to control to allow your love life to allow the situation whatever you are experiencing at this time to unfold naturally all right so we'll see more so how these messages resonate as we continue forward with this reading so i also have here the messages of lust okay lust pure i'll say for um the purposes of youtube sensual pure chemistry all right sparks between you unleash the energy so there's a lot of lust there's a lot of attraction within this connection all right so i also have here the card of yes he will be back trust and know he will return so some of you may be in some kind of temporary separation with a romantic interest or with a partner or whoever is coming to mind through this reading nevertheless know that this person will be back 
know that this person will return trust that okay there is a strong chemistry between you two so what i'm seeing so far is yes let go of control issues let go of worries okay let go of anxiety about the situation put focus on yourself as opposed to this other person and for some of you this can be a very useful distraction that's something that i just heard in my inner ear now all right so let's go ahead and go into our first prediction so i have here the mice the crossroads as well as the cats this is also the, also the birds in my personal deck that i created it's the cats also known as the birds so we have here the mice we have here the crossroads and the birds or the cats so the first thing that i can see here is many of you cappies may be experiencing a lot of fear-based thinking okay and please understand that fear-based thinking is not always grounded and rooted in reality it's fear-based thinking so this can be thinking um you know thoughts I'm feeling like a, a, a repeated thought within one's head. Um, so many of you may be experiencing some worries, some doubts, fear-based thinking regarding this connection. Okay. So many of you may be experiencing some worries, fears, doubts, once again, regarding the fidelity of this other individual because we do have here in the center the crossroads now the crossroads can represent a choice a decision so i'll address that in a second also this can represent infidelity especially when we have here the cats or the birds which signifies a couple and this is generally going to be an older couple for most of you um, if both of you are over the age of 30 here so many of you may be experiencing some worries some doubts some fears regarding the fidelity or potential infidelity within this connection some of you may be speaking with your partner about this okay so you may be talking to your partner about this and this is going to be through telephone this can be face to face this can be email text message this is generally speaking of um you know voice communication but this can also be nervous communication so that's why i'm seeing here a lot of worries and doubts as this can signify worries and doubts so many of you again are having some fear-based thinking thoughts which could be valid or could be internal regarding someone's fidelity let's see what else we can see here for others of you it could be that My mom's cooking over to the side. Um, for others of you, it could be that there is a reduction here in the romance. So things may not be as romantic as they have been in previous months or previously. There may be a feeling of maybe things aren't you know, as romantic as they were before. because of a conversation that you may have had but again i'm feeling as though there is this theme here of infidelity potential fidelity a worry about infidelity here so you may talk about this with this person or some of you may be feeling a lack of love or a loss of love or reduction of confidence even in this situation 
So I do feel as though this lust is a strong theme for you because of this card that could be speaking of multiple partners. This is card number 22. So this speaks of, you know, this is the roads. So this is two partners, okay? I just saw 10, 10 on the clock. So that could be signifying a new cycle coming, okay? A new cycle. So, for many of you, there may be an important conversation that takes place, an important conversation that you need to have during the ending portion of May. And if that is so, again, let go of control issues. And the message that I just heard was, and this is kind of a blunt message, but this is what I heard. And the message was, it's not all about you. Um, for some of you, maybe you needed to hear this. Um, it's not all about you or your desires or your wishes or your fears or what's going on with you. Take into consideration the other person as well, because a partnership is two people, right? It's a connection. A relationship is two people. Some of you may have some worries, doubts, anxieties regarding a big decision that you need to make within this partnership or deciding to have an important conversation, okay? So that's why, again, we have this issue of let go of the need to control and allow the situation to unfold naturally, So for our second prediction here, we have his thoughts, we have house, and we have a little child. His thoughts, house, a little child. So many of you could be really thinking about either your family situation, especially for those of you who have children. So you can have children with this person or not. But many of you may be thinking about what is best for your family, what is best for your children, or how you can be your best self for your family or your children. Others of you may be thinking about creating a stable situation or desiring to create a stable situation or creating a family with this person. So some of you may desire to create a family with this person and the message that I'm hearing is if any of you are thinking about again having children with this person to create stability it may be useful to create the stability first okay we're not trying to trap somebody we want to create the stability and the love and the foundation and the connection first so that may not be the best way to Put that together okay for those of you who fall into that category and some of you may be working with this person and talking to this person about mm, okay hold on I see another situation coming here so some of you may be actually deciding to have a child with this person okay so that may be a joint effort for some of you. But no matter what, we're going to go back to these themes of let go of control issues. Don't try to control the situation or how things play out. Allow things to unfold naturally and in the best way, in the best timing, okay? But again, no matter what transpires during this time, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are very likely, yes, some of you are very likely creating families or extending your family with this person. Because remember, we have this card of lust. We have a card of engagement. Love lives ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Some of you could be really thinking about bringing stability into your love life, into your romantic situation, and bringing about a new beginning. I'm going to get a sip of water here. 
bringing about a new beginning, having a fresh start as well. So because this is a general reading, take the messages, take the scenario that resonates with you. And one thing that I'm hearing is a very useful thing to do would be to really, yes, let go of control issues because what brings about fears, worries, anxieties is an inability to control. You know, we want something to turn out a particular way and we become fearful when there's a possibility that what we want may not manifest. So that leads us to try to control how things work out, control the other person. And the best thing that we can do is relax, pay attention to ourselves being our best selves, looking after ourselves, and allowing things to unfold as they will. So, I have here two messages of forgive, and karma is on your side. Okay, Cappies? Karma is on your side, and forgive. So, I'm getting guided here first to the forgiveness card. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. And what I'm hearing is so can compassion, having compassion for another, forgiving another. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Go for the gobs, the universe, okay? So it takes a lot more courage. It's much more difficult to forgive another person however through our forgiveness that allows us to open our heart that allows us to shift our perspective that allows us to look at things approach things in new in different in more beneficial ways okay so some of you may need to really practice forgiveness okay also understanding that we're all doing the best that we can given the tools that we have if we have better tools if we had better tools if we have learned gain better tools we would be doing things in a better way however we're all doing the best that we can given the tools that we have so knowing that allows us to have compassion for another person who maybe we need to forgive and forgiveness is never for the other person forgiveness is only for ourselves because it is saying that we choose to move forward without resentment without pain without anger in our hearts okay so also again karma Cappies is on your side. If you could read all the minds that I read, this is the universe speaking. If you could read all the minds that I read, if you can hear all the prayers that I hear and beat all the hearts that I beat, I wonder if you even believe how often you're thought of, talked about, and fallen in love with. It's payback time. Ooh. I just got chills. Andale, andale, the universe. So the universe is saying, andale, andale, move forward, okay? Make the move. You are cherished. You're lovable. You're amazing. The universe sees that. And many people see that, okay? Know that karma is on your side. When we hold good intentions, when we seek to do right by others, it's interesting because sometimes we can find ourselves in situations where others are attracted to that and unfortunately can take advantage of those things. However, as long as we keep our intentions, as long as we move forward with love in our heart, as long as we seek to do well by others, that brings about our positive outcomes. So karma is on your side, okay? keep holding an open heart, keep loving, keep doing your best by others and all that will be returned to you. Now, let's go ahead and go forward into our uh, additional guidance messages. Now, I'm gonna go here first. So we have the card of Shower of Abundance and this does speak of finances. However, in this case, because it's a love reading, I'm gonna kind of change around the words of the card. So this says, to heal your financial situation, but in this case, to heal your romantic situation, first give us God, spirit, universe, and angels, your higher power. First give us your worries concerning love and romance. So to heal your situation, first release your fear-based thoughts, release your worries, release your doubts, because I do see, once again, a lot of 
discomfort mentally, a lot of fear-based thinking regarding love during this time. So to heal the situation, give those worries, fears, doubts to universe, spirit, guide your higher power. A very powerful prayer that you can use for yourself is Holy Spirit, please heal my fear-based thoughts about love. Holy Spirit, please heal my fear-based thoughts about romance, about relationships. Okay. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept love and romance. As we work together, your romantic situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. So this is a time when free will and the gift that we have to choose our thoughts to choose the way we look at things. A lot of time we think that, you know, we think the way we think and that's just, that's just it. No, we have the ability to choose our thoughts. And if we have a thought that's not higher, you know, vibration, or if we have a thought that is not really benefiting us, if we have a thought that is making us fearful or worried, we can choose another thought and we can continue to choose new thoughts. And as we choose these new thoughts that aligns us with a new vibration. So, Go ahead and release your fears, worries, doubts to universe, spirit, God, your higher power. And as you do so, you are taking that initiative. Okay, you are doing the necessary steps. You are working with that universal energy to bring about the romance that you are seeking. Okay, so I'm just going to go into this little message here. Um, new home moving is a step in the right direction for you. So some of you may be moving your actual home. Okay. Some of you may be moving your actual location, uh, relocating your family. And for others of you, this could be speaking of finding a new home when it comes to your relationships, how you relate to others, how you go about love. So moving to another way of thinking, a new pattern is the right direction for you now i also have here this message that came out twice for you of dietary change cleanse and detoxify so some of you may really benefit from going on a detox from um, maybe taking up exercise uh, regime from cleansing from meditating you know some kind of physical change um watch what you put into your body you know watch the thoughts that you think um so a dietary change a cleansing and detoxifying can be very useful because our minds bodies spirits are all connected so as we elevate the vibrations as we become healthy in one way we are also to become healthier in the other ways so improve your diet and your love life will also improve also with great love and respect we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body at your request we help you to develop life affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow and shedding your old ways give your cares worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body so it's really interesting how we got that message twice the angels are really saying to you cappies your fear-based thoughts your worries your concerns give them up to you know give give those up to the angels give those up to god spirit university higher power because they can hold those things and they don't want you to hold those things so release those you know ask your higher power ask you know the the spiritual being of your choice to release to take these thoughts you know and really release them to them so that you don't have to feel that discomfort or those fears, okay? And you can be more comfortable with letting go of control. Because really, we're not in control. It's more about the universal laws, a higher power, our destiny. These things are more in control than we are. It's how we respond to these events, how we respond to the things that we experience and the things that come into our lives. So we have that message again. Now, we also have the message of noticing the signs. Noticing the signs. Yes, the signs you, you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. So pay attention. 
pay attention to these signs. They can also come through music, songs on the radio, television, you know, signs are everywhere. If they speak to you, recognize them because they are significant. But you are going to be receiving signs regarding the truth of the matter, regarding, you know, what lies beyond the surface, regarding which move to make. So notice the signs, Cappies. Notice the signs. All right. So now let's go ahead and go into our postcard from spirit and our uh, divine message here. So our postcard from spirit Capricorns reads, dear Capricorn, now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance, take a step back and do nothing but observe. So again, let go of the control issues, just observe. All right. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary. An actual opportunity to take a breath, slow down, and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. So notice the signs. And as you detach, okay, you're able to look at the signs. I just saw 26, 26 on the clock. So many of you may be able to make an important decision that is going to bring happiness, okay? Happiness, fulfillment, abundance of love and romance into your life at this time. So decisions from the high, I'm sorry, decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information for both the intellect and the intuition. When you step into the role of the observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision-making process. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental place. So again, let go of those control issues. Take a step back. Observe, okay? Allow the messages to sink in. Allow the messages to come to you rather than attempting to control the situation, control the circumstances. And then you'll know which step to make, what to do. Oh, I just saw 2727. So you may be able to make a good decision, um, bring balance also by going within, all right? Going within self reflection. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non judgmental place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us. When we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray, now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now. You will be glad you did. Love you. All right, Cappy, so let's go ahead and go into our uh, divine message from my book of divine messages here. I'm sorry you guys can't really see that. Um, but this is my book of divine messages by Amelia Burt. We go ahead and ask this question, set my intention, and I'll provide you with your final message. So I have your message 114 and this says before you reincarnated upon this lifetime you were aware of all that you will face as you embarked upon that physical journey you were also aware you were I'm sorry you were also aware all that you will learn of all the people you will help with your presence of all the experiences and the lessons you will gain and you are so thrilled to begin. Now, don't get discouraged because you cannot remember the reason for your being. Trust that where you are has a cause and you are perfect just the way you are. Oh, I got chills. Embrace this, okay? Sometimes we can't remember, you know, that we agreed before we incarnate into this lifetime. Yes, I'm going to come into this lifetime to meet these people at this time, to have these experiences, to do these things for my soul's growth, for my soul's evolution. And then we incarnate, we have these experiences and they can be challenging. Nevertheless, when all is said and done, we realize that, yes, it's like everything was for the better. Everything happened just as it should. And we have gratitude for the experiences that we had when all is said and done, when we have that final pot of gold, you know, at the end of our rainbow. So have no fear. Let go of 
uh, control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally know that your love life whatever is going on here is ascending to a higher level of commitment through the trials tribulations through the good through the bad through the indifferent okay so know that again karma is on your side my lovely Cappies, these are the messages that I have for you regarding your love and romantic relationships for the ending portion of May. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. Thumbs up, like this reading if the messages resonate with you. Comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, go ahead and check out that description box below. There are all the links to book a reading with me now as well as book a future partner reading. You can follow me on Instagram as well at Power Life Hypnosis. Go ahead and follow me for your love life fortunes. Um, um, the Instant Go link is also below. I am running a special on Instant Go for the month of May. So go ahead and check out all those links. You can also contact me at Power Life Hypnosis. Um, go ahead and go to my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me there. So much love and much light to you. And I look very forward to seeing you here again soon. Mwah. Bye, Cappies.